Pashmak and Permida's problem that is code forces around 261 div 2d this is the problem we'll be discussing three different approaches to solve this problem the first is uh, and all of them use segment tree and the last approach rather uh, uses fenwick tree so the first approach is to use a merge sort tree in this case let's go over that approach so using merge sort tree we can for for every okay so okay so merge sort tree we maintain a for every like in a segment tree a merge sort tree is a segment tree where every node uh, stores a vector uh, corresponding to all the elements that it represents so for example uh, okay i haven't really made the example okay cool never mind so the way we solve this question is, is suppose this is the example given to us a we construct a f1 array and a array f2 both of these are vectors we construct these as so first let's see how f1 is constructed we traverse from left to right and store the map value corresponding to the correct index and the way we generate f2 is we reverse our direction of traversal from right to left instead of left to right and then store the map values at each index once we get f1 and f2 the values of f1 and f2 the naive solution could be for every uh, the naive solution could be uh, for i equal to 0 to n and for j is equal to i plus 1 to n check manually check which all uh, i pairs of ij satisfy the condition given in the question and uh, report the answer so that is the order of n square solution what we want is the order of n log n solution for that we iterate on i on the index i but and we define a query uh, which should work in order of log n so how we would make that work in order of log n is uh, define query of i comma f as the number of elements in the range in the indices in, in, in the index range i to n minus 1 in f2 in the array f2 which with the this condition now the way we solve we answer this query is by maintaining a merge sort tree on the array f2 if we are able to maintain a merge sort tree on the array f2 uh, then yeah we can answer this query in order of login so this this is a special case of the query uh, in general if we have a query of this form that find number of elements in the range l to r that are lesser than a certain key uh, then this is this might be a hint to use merge sort tree because if we do binary search on the vector we'll get uh, we'll get uh, we'll be able to answer this query in order of login uh, so actually this is not order of login this is this would be order of log square in solution because uh, for a range we'll find order of log n number of nodes and for each node we'll take order of log n for binary search so the total time complexity per query is order of log square n yeah so having said that uh, so yeah once we maintain the merge sort tree the logic is also simple for maintaining a merge sort tree it's pretty standard uh, but the problem with this approach is the memory complexity the memory complexity is order of n log n and if n is equal to 10 power 6 this generally does not pass 
the code forces uh, the code forces constraint so the alternate approach we use here is using a segment tree with updations on the fly so how we go about doing this is that uh, okay so first as we uh, had done in the first approach meant it maintain these two arrays f1 and f2 then iterate on f1 from right to left okay once we are iterating on array on um, f1 from right to left we'll we'll simultaneously keep uh, we'll we, we'll on the side we'll update uh, maintain a segment tree which is based on the frequencies from f2 and as we keep traversing f1 in the reverse sort in the reverse direction from right to left we'll also keep updating uh, the segment tree the segment tree on the fly so the query we would have to answer is nothing but it's it's a range query of the form that find me the number of elements with find me the number of elements with frequencies in the range i1 to f1 minus 1 because uh, let's say for example we are at this i and this these all have been taken care of by the segment tree the the information stored in these indices are stored in the segment tree because we are updating the segment tree as we as we are traversing from right to left okay so now we want the number of elements the query says that we want the number of elements in the range 1 to f1 minus 1 that is 0 so this doesn't make sense for had i been 2 would have wanted the number of elements in the range 1 to 1 so these three elements would have been reported so the answer for this query would have been 2 um, and the other operation is point update so that is nothing but uh, this is the updation of the segment tree which takes place when we traverse from right to left so once we've answered the query we'll uh, perform a point update which is which basically does um, f2 i plus plus that is incrementing the frequency of uh, f2 i so for example if we were at this index we we would have queried first we would have gotten the answer 3 and then we would have updated so in update after update what what update would have done is it would have incremented the in 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 the segment tree it would have performed a point update where it incremented the frequency of uh, 3 by 1 so uh, it's a point update yeah now the, the and the tree x basically stores the number of elements which have frequency is equal to x uh, this is the approach moving on to the code uh, so okay so let's see the code for uh, Mertz or tree first it gave me a machine uh, gave me a memory limit exceed uh, the code is straightforward in make fa we are making the f1 f2 is which we talked about spoke about here f is f1 a is f2 and i have ca called it a because i want to uh, build the segment tree based on a now in build we are building the mozart tree uh, we are building it as follows and uh, merge the merge logic is simple it's basically just uh, merging two sorted vectors okay and in query we are doing a lower bound and reporting the number of elements lower than the key and uh, yeah this is, this is pretty standard query is easy uh, yeah and we don't need a update in this particular implementation so I'm hoping this implementation is uh, clear now moving on to the segment tree implementation again we are making uh, the arrays f1 f2 in it in this function query uh, okay and we are so in query we are answering the number of elements with frequency in the range ql to qr 
okay now once we have answered this we want to update the segment tree such that we are incrementing the number of elements which have frequency equal to f2i and we do it as follows and uh, then continue doing this for i is equal to n minus 1 to 0 now the third approach is a fenwick tree fenwick tree is uh, nothing but i mean it's just a more optimized uh, it's the code is more optimized in fenwick tree as compared to the segmentary solution uh, this is a code the code is pretty much similar everything is similar instead of uh, just the query and update functions differ here and this is the standard fenwick tree code thank you